In this tutorial, I'll cover the following topics. We'll take a quick look at what's in the box. We'll look at the bottom of the phone and see where to connect the handset, Ethernet cables, optional headset and power cord, and the location of the expansion module connector. Then I'll show you how to attach the reversible stand for 30 and 60 degree viewing angles. When you order one of these SIP telephones, inside the box you'll find the telephone, a handset and cord, and a reversible stand. Now let's turn the phone over and look at the bottom of the phone. There are five connectors, or jacks, on the bottom of the phone, and one optional power connection. The first connector is the handset connector. Attach the handset and handset cord, then plug the handset cord into this connector. The next connector is a headset connector. Here you would connect a headset with an RJ9 or RJ22 4-pin connector. For DHSG and EHS headsets with an RJ45, 6, or 8-pin connector, remove the plastic headset jack adapter. For electronic hook switch, you will need a DHSG EHS cable, which may come bundled with your headset or purchased separately from the headset manufacturer. The next two connectors are the LAN and PC Gigabit Ethernet connectors. The LAN connector must be connected to your network. This is the connector that will give your phone telephone service. I'll talk about the PC connector in just a minute. If your company provides inline power or power over Ethernet, you will not need to use the optional AC power adapter. This is because your phone is getting the power from the Ethernet connection. But if your company does not provide power over Ethernet, then you will need to use the optional AC power adapter. Plug one end into the phone and the other end into an AC outlet. Now let's talk about the PC connector. These phones have a built-in high-performance Ethernet switch. This means you can share a single network connection with your phone and your PC and maintain a high-quality throughput. This can be very helpful if there's only one network connection in your area. With the main network connection plugged into your LAN connector, then a second cable is used to connect your phone's PC connector to your computer's Ethernet card or connector. This way, with no additional equipment, you can share one network connection with both your phone and your computer. Your phone comes ready to use with an optional expansion module. There is a cover you will need to remove to expose the expansion module connector. Now let's attach the reversible stand. The stand provides a 30 degree or 60 degree viewing angle. Attaching the stand like this will give the phone a higher 60 degree viewing angle. Gently put the stand in the telephone slot. You will know you have inserted it correctly because it takes no effort to hold it in place. Slide the stand to the right and it will snap into place. To change the viewing angle and reverse the stand, push down on the plastic tab that just snapped into place and slide the stand to the left. Turn the stand around and reattach the stand. Insert your cables into the flexible rubber grips to hold and neatly organize your cables. Your phone comes with a key card and plastic cover. This can be used to label the features, names, or numbers associated with the buttons. Insert the key card. I've chosen to make and use my own custom label. Then secure the key card with the plastic cover. This concludes this tutorial on the 6865 hardware overview. Additional tutorials are available on the 6865.